or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, the go out and Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman, coming from my mama's basement on a early, a crisp Saturday football, college football morning. Um, we're getting close, people. We're getting real close. Um, I am ready to roll and get ready for the season. Um, I am going to go over a few things this morning, and then we're going to break down the Cowboys schedule. I told you guys I would revisit the schedule before the start of the season. Now is as good a time as any to do so. Um, you know, you remember before training camp, you know, OTAs, uh, I said 11 wins. I said the Eagles and the Cowboys would both have 11. I said the Giants would have 10. It's funny how everybody is starting to come around to what I'm saying about the Giants. Uh, I still think Washington, they will be a better team. They have a really good defense. But schedule, Sam Howe, year two, I um, think they're going to struggle a bit. They're going to win seven, eight games. Uh, tops, eight games is my ceiling for them. But first things first, excuse me. Um, I brought up a rumor last night with Mark. I read it in a couple outlets, and I don't think it's going to happen. But what I will tell you is it's very interesting. Um, old school Cowboys, old school Jerry Jones would pull the trigger on this type of deal. I don't know that you need to give up Osa, but you know, Chris Jones in Kansas City, he's a big-time defensive lineman. Um, Mozzie Smith, where we picked in the first round, I am totally okay with the pick. I think he's going to be more than okay. Um I just, um, he's not ready to go now as far as offering pass rush. He's going to you know, take the double team. He's, uh, you know, he's going to stop the run, and that's all we need him to do. But let's not kid ourselves. Chris Jones is one of the best defensive linemen in the league. Kansas City has won Super Bowls on his back. I know they had Mahomes, but last year they lost a lot of offensive pieces. Drafted Isaiah Pacheco, what, in round seven? Um very, very impressed uh, with what they did as a defense last year. You know, Eagles still put up a lot of points against them, but Chris Jones, make no mistake, was the reason, one of the, one of the biggest reasons why they ended up winning. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, but what we would have to give up is a first-round pick and one of our young defensive linemen, Osa Odigizua. Um, that's the rumor I'm hearing. I don't know that we'd have to give up all that because you got you know normally when you offer have to pay a big contract i would say a number one pick would be more than enough um but you know kansas city's in the catbird seat so just wanted to throw that out there um weird weird situation in kansas city he coming off a super bowl he's holding out um my inside person is telling me that Kansas City has been reaching out to other teams. So we'll see. I think he ultimately stays in Kansas City. They need him. Um, but just throwing it out there. Um, I mentioned at the early part, you know, when I first came on here, about the crisp weather. Now, it's going to get into the high 90s later this week. Um, it is what it is. We don't have too much more of that left. What I will say is the crisp weather, I can wear his shorts and a long sleeve hoodie. This is very thin hoodie, but still, we're getting there. And you know what that means? It is football, weather. Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, I've been watching some football movies. Uh, I'm just ready to go. And shout out to my man, Deion Sanders, primetime. Not the primetime Phil, not my partner, primetime Phil, who you could check later tonight with me uh, at 7 o'clock Eastern me and Primetime Phil, we go live. We discuss all things NFL and Dallas Cowboys. Be sure to check that out tonight. I will put the link 
when I have it in the disc in the comments below. Um, but at 12 noon today, Deion Sanders, head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes, are playing TCU. I'm actually looking forward to that game. Um, it's football. Football is here. But um, we're one week away. We are one week away from uh, Dallas Cowboy football. Tomorrow, it will be a week away. And I am I really can't wait. Now, once it starts, it ends pretty quick. Uh, I kind of wish NFL would add another game and add a second bye week or just add a second bye week. Let's stretch this out you know, through February. Let's get as close to March Madness as we can. There's always a law. Um, let's do that. Let's do that, please. Um, I'm happy that they increased the practice squad to 16 players. That's big news. Uh, more opportunity for young players. I wish they would increase the roster size a bit. Shout out to Isaiah Land. I'm sorry that we lost you, my man, but I wish you luck. Um, but yeah, we are a week away, and it's funny looking at the lines. I'm looking. I'm going to go over the Cowboys' schedule, and I'm going to predict wins and losses now, like I told you I would uh, after the preseason. The only major injury injury that we lost was Demarvin Overshone. It sucks. A depth piece. He was going to play a lot. In, in the starting lineup. He won't be the last player we lose. But I would say defensively and I would say offense, not offensive line, we're about as deep as any team in the league. I don't know that any team is as deep as we are on defense and in the wide receiver room. Very, very excited about our running backs and our depth and our different, you know, I'm just very uh, you got Pollard, you got Deuce Vaughn, you got Rico Dowdle, and then you got our new guy, Hunter Lepke. Hunter Lepke is going to punish people in the fourth quarter. We just need to get our leads. We need to get this new offense down. That'll be interesting as we I go over the games. The Giant game, um, you know, it's going to be interesting. I will be in attendance next week, next Sunday night, a week from tomorrow. Um you know, stay tuned for the channel. I will be you know, bringing a lot to the table. But just looking at week one, we are at the Giants. We're a three-and-a-half-point favorite on the road, a playoff team. Eagles are at New England, non-playoff team. They are a three-and-a-half-point favorite. You deduct that what you will. I expected the Eagles to be a bigger favorite. Um, interesting. Um, but I think... Both games are going to be good. I think the Eagles have a very good chance to win that game, but you better be on your game. Bill Belichick with a lot of time to prepare for a game. It could be sketchy for you, Birds, but I think you'll pull it out. I think for your sake, you need to pull it out. Looking at your first month of the season is pretty easy. You know, after that, I would say the first six games of – of your schedule is fairly easy. You need to have at least five wins before that dreaded stretch. Uh, but the Cowboys, we are a three and a half point favorite on a, on the road. I think it's a little high. I think it's a field goal game. Um, I could see if if somebody is going to blow somebody out. I think it'll be the Cowboys blowing out the Giants. But uh, I just want my Eagle from you know I have a. A lot of Eagle followers. I live in Eagleville. I'm a Philly fan. Philadelphia Phillies, Flyers, Sixers. You know, you know. I'm a Philly fan. I'm not an Eagle fan. Not a fan of a lot of the Eagles fans that uh, around here. They're a little rough. There's no need for some of the stuff. But hey, listen. It is what it is. Um, but I want to get. I want to corner my Eagles fans of what you think of my Cowboys. How good do you think we are? Because I need to lock in your guys' answers as because I don't want any excuses at the end of the year. Now, I've already told you, the one excuse is if we lose a couple players like last year for an extended period of time. Nobody gave us credit for it, but we had a decimated offensive line, and Dak Prescott missed six games. 
balls were alls were talking about is how many you know interceptions. But I just the, not all the Eagle fans, but there are some Eagle trolls out there, you know, who um, just like to needle me. They like to needle me, um, and they're just want to hammer Dak. So are we good or are we not good? Because I'm going to come for you guys at the end of the season. I'm coming for a lot of the people in the mainstream media, and I need to know. I don't want no, uh, I don't want no revisionist history. You motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. I'm going to put cases on people. I want to lock people down as what you think the Cowboys are going to be. Um, you know, I don't want no excuses for Dak Prescott. He deserves better than that. We're going to end up with the number one defense. So is that going to be the answer of why we win? What if Dak wins the MVP? These are all hypothetical questions, but as a Cowboy fan, I haven't felt this good about it a season in a long time. And I will be the first one to throw them under the bus if they're all playing like ass ass. But be that as it may, shout out to Mark Holmes. Uh, I'm going to get started here. There are a few changes. Uh, as you could tell, I think the win total will go up from where it's at now at 11. Let's get started now. Um, week one, next week at the Giants, we're in a three and a half point favorite. Um, that was the game I originally had us with a loss. I still think it's going to be a tight game. There's no possible way I could give us a loss. Um, there's no way I can give us a loss week one, opening day, on the road. If it was at home, I might be suspect just because. But we've actually played good the last two openers against Tampa, albeit, and we lost to Tom Brady. Um, we're going to win that game. Then we come home for our week, our week two, our home opener against the Aaron Rodgers. Now, we have beaten Aaron Rodgers. Let's not act like we have never beaten Aaron Rodgers. We have, have beaten Aaron Rodgers. He just has the best of us. We're going to be a favorite. I'm not going to go over each line, um, but we will be a favorite in that game. Um, well, I could pull up the lines if you want. I know some people like the lines, so let's go. I'll just pull up the you know the odds, you know per week, so that way you guys don't think that I'm just being like yeah, you know, crazy. Okay, the Cowboys week two. Of course, we're a prime time game. We're a three point favorite only. Well, three and a half point favorite at home against the Jets. Another close one. Uh, this is. Our time to beat the Jets. Um, it just is. It's our time to beat the Jets. Um, our defense is really good. So we go to 2-0. and um, And then we hit the road to go to the hapless Arizona Cardinals. Now, if a Kyler Murray were to be playing, um, you know, he has our number. He hasn't lost to us. So, um I think we beat them. I guarantee we're a big favorite. Let me look at the line real quick as we sit now. Obviously, these lines are before any injuries. Um, week three, week three, week three, week three. Yeah, it's a 425 game. We are a seven and a half point favorite week three at the Arizona Cardinals. Dallas Cowboys go to three and O to start the year. I sure hope the Eagles at this point are three and O. We will cover the Eagles schedule sometime this week before the season. Uh, but when I tally my total here, we will go from there. Let's go to week four. This next game would be an issue if we were on a road. I might actually pick the Patriots just based on ebb and flow of the season, but it's not. It's a home game for our Dallas Cowboys. We are hosting the New England Patriots. We happen to be a six-point favorite at home. We win against the Patriots at home. Zeke, I'm sorry. I love you. You're my boy, but... Um, you're going down week four. We are 4-0. and oh. I originally had us, I believe, 3-1 and one at this point. We are 4-0 and oh rolling. Our next game is going to upset some Cowboy fans. And listen, I'm being, this is where 
If we have a stumble in the first four, I'm going to account for that. We are... <sighs> Maybe not. We are uh, week five at the 49ers. I lied. It's a revenge game. There's no way we're losing to the 49ers. No way. But this next game will explain a lot. We're 4 0 rolling into the, the 49er game. Um, the line as of right now, right now, we've been a favorite in every week. A, a pretty substantial favorite. I will say we are a three point underdog which means it's a push on the road um it is a night game uh i have a feeling that we are going to win this game now hold your like you guys are going to say you can't beat the niners we can we just can't beat them in the damn playoffs but i think it's a revenge game um we win against the Niners, and if we don't win, we'll win the following week. But I have us beating the Niners to go to five and zero. Shots fired. We're coming for your meats, Philly five hundred. We're five and zero right now. So if I look at week six, this is where I think we do our first stumble of the year. It could be reversed. We could lose a close one against San Fran, and then smoke. Uh, the Chargers, but I believe it's a Monday night game. It is. We come home and then go back to L.A. We go back to L.A. and the Chargers. I think we take an L against the uh, more of an ebb and flow L rather than a um, they're the better team L. I'm not going to sit here and say we're going to run the table. If we're sitting at 6-0 and here, it's a wrap, Eagle fans. Sorry to say. I think we take the L. We're 5-1 and one rolling into the bye week. It could be reversed. We could lose to the Niners and then come and smoke Kellen Moore on Monday night. But I'm going to stick to my revenge factor. A lot hinges on that first game of the year in the Giants. If we should happen to lose that game, it ain't going to spiral us out of control, but we won't be able to get out on anybody. We it just won't happen. Um, but there is a chance that we could be right with the Eagles after six games. And after six games, it, like if we're five and one, you should be scared, Philly. Sorry, I had us four and two, I believe, my first time around. Uh, we're five and one now. I don't see you being any better than five and one. I I said the Eagles. Prior to, I haven't re-looked at their schedule. I think they're going to be 5-1. and one. So after six games, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 going into the bye week. Now coming out of the bye week, we are home against the Rams. Think about that. We're home against the Rams. Let me go to week 8 because that's the actual home against the Rams. I believe this is our lone 1 o'clock. Oh, no, we... We might have another one, but we have a 1 o'clock game at AT&T as of right now, and that's before our 5-1 and one, the trek. Right now, all the, the people in the league are talking their shit. They're hopping on the bandwagon. We don't need you to hop on the, on the bandwagon, okay? We don't need you to hop on any darn bandwagon. We know what we're doing. We're ready to roll. Um, get ready. Uh, we... Beat the Rams, okay, to go to 6-1. and one. We're not losing to the Rams at home. Not happening. Which brings me to week 9, my fellow Eagles fans. We're 6-1. and one. Eagles are going to have to win this game if they want to keep lockstep with us. Um, the game is a 425 at Lincoln Financial Field. As of right now, the Eagles are only a 3.5-point favorite. I mean, they're so good. Why wouldn't you guys be a five, six-point favorite against us? You're only a six-point favorite. I mean, a three-and-a-half-point favorite at home. Um, I'm going to give it to the Eagles. Now, we always play good non-playoff in Philly. We could win this and choke our home game away. But I'm going to stick with Eagles win this game. Eagles going to need to win this game. And we'll get to their schedule later this week. 
they're going to win this game. Dallas is now 6-2 and two after eight games. Um, that's pretty good. That's real good. So, um, but like, you know, look, for the next eight games, I really do uh, want to pump everybody up because we're, our schedule doesn't get that hard. So, let's get ready. We're going to have our vengeance on all the... We're taking names, like in the second half of the uh, season. We're 6-2. and two. Uh, We follow up the L at the Eagles with another divisional game at home against the New York Football Giants in Week 10. Let's take a look at the time of the game. It's 425. We are a... Five and a half point favorite at home against the Giants. We win that game. We sweep the Giants yet again. That's right, Rashid. Yet again. We go to seven and two. Now the next game I'll most likely be at. We shall see. That's it's in the works as we speak. We travel to Carolina. We travel to the The Carolina Panthers. This is a game I think we might be able, we might stumble in. Other than they have a rookie quarterback, and I don't think we're going to lose to a rookie quarterback. Uh, it is our second one o'clock game in Carolina. I don't think that the rookie quarterback beats this defense. I just don't. Um, I could see a possible. Real close game, but we ain't losing. We moved to eight and two right now. Like I said, we are a three and a half point favorite in Carolina. We go to sorry, we were seven and two. We go to eight and two after ten games, uh, and then we roll right into Thanksgiving Day. We haven't had the the most success on Thanksgiving um, lately. Um, but we will, we're right now, we're a touchdown favorite. Uh, everybody has been talking all that smack after the last game of the year against the Washington left hand up commanders. Um, talking a lot of smack about the Cowboys and Dallas didn't need, really need the game if they would have won. The way it played, I didn't like how they started out, but they've since anointed Sam Howe. I think by this point, that would have all, the whole Sam Howe is going to Canton is going to be calmed down by now. I think they are going to be a 500 team at best this year. Uh, we win on Thanksgiving. In Turkey Day, we win against the Washington Commanders to go 9-2. and two. Now, the way the NFL works now is mainly because of the Eagles complaining about us always having that second bye. Even though we got to play on a Sunday and then a Thursday, they don't like the fact that we go from Thursday to the following Sunday, which is a 10-day. Even though you just played you know, two games in five days, they don't care about that. But it is what it is. We um, are home. We're 9-2. and two. We play the following Thursday night at home against the Seattle Seahawks. Everybody's anointing Seattle. We beat Seattle at home to go to 10-2. and two. Now, I'll give you the line uh, as of right now as it stands. We are a three-and-a-half point favorite at home. Um, this could be a slip-up game, but if I'm being honest, I'm not going to say that we're going to lose at home to Seattle. If it was in Lumen Field in Seattle, that would be different. We never play good there, other than the one year where uh, we did go in there and you know take care of business. But with that field, that turf, I want no part of going to Seattle. We you play them here. We move to ten and two. Now the advantage comes. Okay, we move to ten and two on a Thursday, and we don't play again. We play our third straight home game. Okay, and I believe. I believe the Eagles, and I will get to their schedule. No, okay, that would be wrong. Eagles would be coming off the 49ers at Lincoln Financial Field the same time that we play at home against Seattle. So, um, now actually, we play on 
No, excuse me. We play Thursday night football against Seattle. Eagles play against the 49ers at home at Lincoln Financial Field on 12-3. So they get uh, one day shorter. We get 10 days to prepare for a primetime game week 14. I did give the Eagles the home win. Um, I did give the Eagles the home win early in the year. But this is a 820 uh, Sunday night game. I don't know if it's Sunday night. It's a September 10th. So let me look at that. That may be. Let me just look up real fast. I mean, that's I mean December 10th. December 10th is a Sunday night game. So we host. We have a 10-day break. We host. Right now it's a pick 'em game. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm thinking the Eagles are going to be real desperate to get a win at this point based on their schedule. We win the game. I think we put the nail in the coffin for the division on that day. Um, I just do. I think we move to 11-2, and two, week 14, home against the Eagles. Week 15. I can tell you right now, this is an L. We are on a roll. We're flying high. We got to go to Buffalo. We don't have the luxury of playing the Bills at home uh, like you know, the rest of our NFC East, uh, or at least the Eagles that I'm concerned about. We have to go to Buffalo. Um, not only do we have to go to Buffalo, we have to go to Buffalo at 425, December 17th it's probably going to be frigid it's probably going to be snowing that's an l that's an l i could see it a mile away that that's an l so we go to 11 and 3 then we turn around this next game could possibly be an l but i'm not going to give it an l because i think by this point i think by this point i think Tua may not be around um we have to go to the Miami Dolphins. It'll be a welcomed, because this time in Miami, it's not going to be scorching hot. It's just, you know, it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be pleasant. We play the Miami Dolphins. The game time is 425. We are actually a one and a half point favor, uh, underdog, which means we are, usually the home team gets three points. We're a slight favorite. In my mind, uh, we're going to win that game. We're going to bounce back by a tough loss against the Bills. We're probably going to get embarrassed. Um, Dan Quinn is going to be all over the defense and all over to it if he's still in the lineup. We move to 12-3. and 12-3. and three. We've already matched our win total. Let me count that just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We are 12-3. and three. Um... 12 and 3. Are we going to finish with three straight years of 12 wins? Hell yeah, we are. Hell yes, we are. Barring anything substantial, we're going to 12 and 3. Um, that's just what we're going to do. Um, so let's go to week 17. Week 17. Um, this is probably why Philly 500 is getting nervous. This is probably why he's getting a little nervous because he's he sees how our defense is, our offense, the potential there. He sees Deuce Vaughn. He sees it. He sees it. He looked at the schedule. I mean, listen, it is what it is. It's hard for any team to win back-to-back -back years. Eagles will have a bullseye. Week 17, this is going to be a tough game. Uh, I think the hype is a lot for the Detroit Lions. It is a prime time Uh Saturday night game. Let me just double check that. I believe it's because I know it's eight fifteen at AT and T against the Detroit Lions. Uh, Twelve thirty is a Saturday night game. Yet another prime time game. We beat the Lions. The Lions are fraudulent people. Jared Goff isn't going into AT and T and winning. If it was in Detroit, then that would be an issue. It's not. This is a different Cowboy team. They are hungry. They are thirsty. And the bottom line is we're winning. We are 13-3. and three, So we're not going with tw three straight 12 wins. We're going to 13 wins. And we have wrapped up the division at this point. Yes, we have. Now, we wrap up. I will be at this game as well. 
I already told Mark, you can count on me to be there. So hopefully everybody comes out. I didn't go last year. Why they schedule Washington left-hand up commanders for the last game of the year, I'll never know. Because it's friggin' measurable. But hopefully a lot of people turn out. I'll be there. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. If the Eagles, if Dallas needs, listen, if Dallas needs to, you know, the win, we're going to win. We're not losing back-to-back years like that because we have Trey Lance. That'll probably be a Trey Lance game at that point. And say what you want. The man is ultra-talented. We're not going with a guy who's a who's a bus driver. He At that point, he's going to be able to be unleashed and see what he can do rolling into the playoffs. So, I don't think we're going to need the game, so I'm giving the Cowboys an L. I think we play all of our backups, but we could win it. We we could win and be 14 and 3. For you know, just you know, for the sake of being fair, I say we take the L, getting ready for most likely home field advantage throughout the playoffs and a bye week. That goes into my thinking. If we need it, it'll be 14, but I'm going to say we're not going to need it. Cowboys will finish. 13 and 3. Dallas won't play anybody in that game. It'll be like uh, week three of the preseason. So 13 and 4, excuse me. I was wondering, my math is off. We were 13 and 3 after the Lion game. We will end up this year with 13 wins, 13 and 4. Dallas Cowboy record. I will go over the Eagles' schedule this week. I honestly haven't. Maybe they win 13. I doubt it. I had them at 11 earlier. I have 12 as their ceiling. I'm going to revisit, honestly. Um, I'm giving them a 13-4 record. I think their their basement is 12. Um, And I think that a lot has to do with the Giant game. If we go out and lose the first game of the year, then they'll probably win 12 again for the third straight year. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think they beat the Niners. If the if you know they, you know, yeah, you know, I think they could easily beat the Chargers. They're favored in most of their games. So you people go, oh my God, thirteen. They've won twelve the last two. They won twelve last year with the first place schedule. Eagles now have to experience that. We will get into their schedule later in the week. But that's it. Thirteen and four for the Cowboys. We don't need the last game. We get basically two weeks to rest up. Uh, home field throughout and get ready, man. All I really need to tell everybody, and where's my drop here, um, is one thing and one thing only. Join us tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern, uh, primetime Phil. I will put the link below. Um, we're going to talk everything Dallas Cowboys and NFL Eagle fans will talk some Eagles uh I really haven't looked at your schedule again I might do that this afternoon while I'm watching some college football I do got to go in my pool and do one last vacuum of it before I shut her down for the season um there it is Cowboy fans you guys were kind of rough on me about how I had to schedule Eagle fans said I was I gave Dallas too much the Cowboy fans not enough after the preseason and seeing what I saw, Jalen Tolbert's emergence. We're winning 13 games this year, people. We're going to get the bye. Good things are going to happen. I'm writing names now. Uh, I'm coming after people after the year when we win the Super Bowl. So let's go. I'll talk to everybody later. I'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock on Primetime Phil. And I'm about to get Peace out, everybody. Late.